Okay, hello everybody. Uh, I'm Mario Mix 11. Welcome back. And today, I just ordered my new Bamboo Splash uh, graphics tablet, and I thought I'd do an unboxing video because I've never done one before. So let's just see how this turns out. Okay, so right when you get the uh, box, it has some nice graphics on it. On the side, you get another picture. It says Bamboo Splash Pen. Now. On the back here, uh, all the uh, features. Not sure if you can see them. All the future, all the features right here. Uh, if I can focus it. Whatever. Basically, you can just search this up. Uh, I'll probably have them in the description. I ordered it off Amazon. You can get it from their website or Amazon. I, uh, it's cheaper on Amazon, so that's where I got it from. On the bottom here, it's basically just all rights reserved, copyright, all that. Your barcode. Got the Wacom logo right there. Let's see if this will want to focus. No, it never wants to focus, okay. Let's get to actually opening it. Okay, now for the unboxing gum and knife here. So we don't have any tragedies while I'm recording. Okay. Okay, let's open this up. Oh, it slides up. Yeah, so once you slide it out, you get this nice other box with their bamboo words on it. Got the Wacom symbol. And it appears to be just a plain box. Okay. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Okay, we get the welcome to your bamboo experience. It's a nice little welcome kind of page. Here it is. The bamboo tablet. Okay, so bamboo tablet. We got the bamboo software. We got the pen, the stylus. Yeah. And I hear it has like 120 something settings. I think may I think it might be even 200. It's USB connected, so there's a USB port. And you got a little metal ring to go around the stylus. And just some other stylus pens here. Tips. That's about it for the box. Yep. That's all that's in the box. Okay. So I'm going to install it, plug it up to the computer. Actually, before we do that, let's actually take a look at the tablet. Okay, so here's the actual bamboo tablet. And my camera's a bit spazzy because this is black and so it's in on that. So everything else is super white. <laughs> Okay, so let's take a look at this. So it's got this nice lime green color on the back. It looks really nice and clean. Just a little kind of resting position. You got the Wacom kind of tag, I suppose, right there. And then this is the active area. Let's see where your pen will actually go. Power light. And yeah, so this has this really nice overall look it's model ctl let's plug it in see what it does one other thing i kind of wanted to point out before we start is i'm not sure if you can tell but if you just scratch this it leaves these little scratch marks here but they just come off if you rub it really easy yep well guys here it is i'm not sure what i'm gonna do i'm probably gonna put the annotation to the time lapse i just made of this but here's something i just made with my wacom tablet it's my avatar head here <laughs> okay that was weird voice it's my avatar head and not the greatest but i'm proud of myself my favorite part of the shape i have to say that okay um I used to not, like, be able to do stuff like this. I always wanted to, because I could only draw this kind of stuff with, a, and I'm Kid Justin, if you can't tell. I could only draw this kind of stuff with, a uh, pencil and paper and, a, a highlighter markers or something. But now that, uh, I have my Wacom tablet, I can just set different colors, different layers, 
and I enable a shade. Ooh, I forgot something. Well, let me kind of go over how I do, like, gradients here real fast. Anyway, this is the opportunity. Okay, let's... Okay, what I do is because this is just my mouth, I don't need, like, any themes from here. Just plain black. And because I use plain black for the outlines here, uh, I can't use plain black for the inside here. Otherwise, it would look like... One sec. It would look... Ooh. Ooh, that's bad. Okay. Let me try. Oh, I doesn't want to do that. Oh! <laughs> it's because I'm not on this. I'm on my, uh, shedding layer. Got confused there. Okay, so if I just click on here, and you can see it would leave these white lines here. So the thing I do to fix that is I go select, modify, expand. Oh, I had to kind of redraw these a few times because of mess ups and everything. But okay, so if I just used plain black, then it would look like that, and you wouldn't be able to tell the outline. So what I do. Is I use a less a dark gray and a light gray, lighter gray, maybe not that light. Take my gradient tool and kind of just stroke up here. Kind of want to go the way. Wish I wouldn't have done that. I like the one before that. So let's kind of go. Maybe that's a bit too late. Okay, deselect. Now, if you get white lines like this, but you've already done it, and you don't want to cross out your lines, what I do is I just take my brush tool, make it black, or this dark gray, whatever your bottom color is. Let's fill it. Whoa! That was my bad. That was a button I have selected on my pen on here. And I'll fix that ton up in a bit too. Ooh, there's a ton of white spots. Didn't even notice them. So there we go, fixed. Let's just grab this black. Fix this. So I'll have a download link in the description for this picture if you want it since I'm a special person. Not. <laughs> Okay, maybe I am a special person in a, in my own special way. Okay, there. I have finished it. There, now it is finished. So, yeah. I will have the download link in the description for this. I And now for the actual review of the tablet. I really like the tablet. I mean, like I was saying, I can do stuff like I could. See, here, I'm going to... um. Uh, I just did something, didn't I? Okay, I'm gonna draw... Okay, I'm gonna do this with my mouse first. There's my... There's tried to write with my boss. And now I can take this and I can... Draw on... Oh, that's pretty bad handwriting, but... I can... You can you get the point. I can write draw a lot easier with this. I have fear I'm not gonna be able to undo all of this. I can just tell yep. Well that's why they invented the eraser and this <laughs> delete. Delete there. Okay. Now if you saw I was kinda going like this throughout well, actually, I'm not even sure I'm going to show this, but the transform tool helps a lot to enlarge. We would look at all the highlights just get pulled off. Yeah, that would be bad. Okay. Get out of that. Deselect. So, yeah. That's about it for this. So, yeah. The review. Let's, I'm just going to tell. I don't really know where I'm going with this. But the thing I wish they had is the eraser at the back so I didn't have to lose one of my button compatibilities to pull up the eraser automatically. Like 
this. And then this, this just, I just have it set to where I can move my mouse real fast. Hey, not fast. Real fast. There's two buttons on here that you can use. I really wish they had the eraser feature in it, but there's no, uh, extra buttons on the pad. No extra buttons that you can program on the pad. Only, there's only two buttons that you can uh, program on the, um, which actually, let me show it to you. You get this dock when you install it. And basically, if you just click the settings there, you can it just shows how many icons you could have right here. But if you click on my tablet, and tablet properties, then you can get left-handed, right-handed, depending on which way you get to see. And here's where you can, uh, choose what button does what. So yeah, I just have my son come back. <coughs> yeah, I'm getting a bit sick. Yeah, that's about it for today, everybody. I hope you like this, and if you're getting started and drawing, computer drawing, whatever, the the Bamboo Splash tablet, it's uh, $80 on their website, and I think $64 on Amazon. If you just go to their website and click on the buy buttons, and there's actually a link to get it off Amazon, it's nice. It's why pay so much. I made one site where you could get it from Amazon for like 20 bucks less. Yeah. So yeah, that's about it for today, everybody. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, drop a like. If you want to keep watching these kind of videos, I might start doing other YouTubers with avatars and stuff like that. I might, yeah, I just said that. <laughs> well then, drop a sub, and see you next time. This is Artemix11, signing out.